Hello everyone, Bertina Amy here and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing this DIY monitor stand for my makeshift bedroom. You can also make this for your laptop, but just double the width of the actual panels. I took two of these hanging shelves and you can glue two of those together to make a wider width of the stand itself. I start with one and then I take a bunch of these tumbling blocks and glue them all around to extend the length of the actual stand. That way my stand will be long enough for my TV, which is just 19 inches. So here I'm using the other panel and I'm adding some wood blocks surrounding it because I want to make this as a part of the leg or whatever and I also wanted the back end to also block out any sort of extension cords. Unfortunately this ended up being a waste because it ended up being unstable based on the actual legs I wanted to use, so I ended up having to take it off after I already painted it. You'll see that later on in the video. For a laptop or monitor stand, it might not matter. You just want to make sure that the width or the length of your stand is going to be able to support whatever it is you're putting on top, whether it be a monitor or a TV or a laptop. You won't necessarily need it to be super long, you just need it to be sturdy, but long enough to at least be good for the feet of any TV or monitor. I added extra tumbling blocks just to make it more supportive, but it still wasn't good enough because I wanted to use these mini wood crates as legs and I wasn't able to make them where the length of it was going to fit as far as the back end piece that I created. To try to make these legs long enough to reach at least anywhere near the length of the back end piece, I added a couple of tumbling blocks to either side and then attach them at the very edge of the actual piece. And of course, don't forget to remove any of the sticker labels that come with it. The glue I'm using for this project is called Tight Bond, rated number one by pros. And I really love this stuff as a wood glue because it gives a nice hold and it stays strong. And to remove the back panel later on, I had to put a lot of force, but it does come apart. However, I still love this glue because it can be sturdy with if you're not trying to break it apart. Once the glue dries, which shouldn't take too long, go ahead and start painting it even if you're still allowing the glue to cure. I chose Red Barn from Apple Barrel. I love the color. You could do a faux stain with watered down paints, but I chose to just paint it straight on. So once that dried, I went ahead and tested it out under my monitor and realized that this product ended up being unstable, so I go ahead and remove the back piece. I touched up the edges off camera and then allowed it to dry and then put it under my TV monitor and tested it out and this is much sturdier. Here is the DIY TV monitor stand under my TV and above my DVD player. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.